Hello everyone and welcome to this latest OSINT tool review by OS2INT. Now it's been quite some time since um, our last uh, tool review article and uh, video as well. Um, many, many reasons for that. We have been incredibly busy. Lots of things are going on at the moment um, and there is some big news coming up with regards to OS2INT and essentially our future and the path in which we're, in which we're heading. So for this OSINT tool review, we're going to focus once again on Telegram. Um, and um, what we're going to be looking at is a fantastic tool called Telepathy. And we're going to look at the capabilities that it provides, especially when it comes to the analysis of disinformation actors. And considering what is going on um, between Ukraine and Russia, Telegram being a primary source of great information we're getting a lot of on the ground reporting but at the same time counter to that we're getting a lot of russian disinformation activity as well and we can use telepathy to collect a large amount of data and then we're going to analyze that data to see what it does essentially and what it can provide us so let's jump straight in so here we are. This is the GitHub repository for um, for telepathy. So telepathy has been developed by a very, very talented individual who is very active on Twitter. So you can reach him on there. So Jordan. Um, so Jordan has developed telepathy. And this is version two of the tool. Version one equally as good and um, provided a far reaching range of capabilities. Version two, I must admit, is absolutely fantastic i mean there's there's no other word that i can use to describe it really um and the way it's been developed as well it, it is seamless that there are no issues whatsoever and what i like especially about this tool is that the output is being written asynchronously so that means that if the process stops at any point there is no loss of collected data whatsoever so you do have access to um, any data that you do have um, while the process is running so um, again rate limiting being a problem with telegram and they appear to be cracking down on it quite a bit more now so again if you are rate limited it it does not really affect the data you've already collected because it's already there. So the, the data is being written to Excel as the tool is running or as the process is running. And installing telepathy, very, very straightforward. Just follow, follow the instructions. Um, the method I used to install telepathy, I went with the option of cloning, manually cloning the repository here. Because initially I had a couple of issues with the pip install method. So instead I went with the manual cloning and I ran um, python setup.py and install and it did a good job. And I was uh, by that point I'm ready to go. So when you use it for the first time, you need to provide the tool with your API credentials. And to do that, you just navigate to my.telegram.org. Um, if you haven't got an API, register for one. And once you've got it, it is a case of just copying and pasting the, the API values into telepathy at first use so you don't need to keep doing it over and over again and the good thing is is that if like me you have multiple telegram accounts and you are on one of the accounts does get rate limited then it is very straightforward just to switch across to the other accounts and put those api details in as well so as you can see we have usage here so again target so we can get more well, I wouldn't say more because there's only a certain amount of information that we can get from Telegram um, Telegram users. But um, the way that telepathy does it, it presents it really, really neatly. Again, I'll demonstrate this very, very shortly. And it does a comprehensive scan. What that means is, is that it's not only retrieving target information, 
Um, but um, what it's also doing is, is that um, for a channel or group, it will extract all of the message contents into a CSV file. If it's dealing with a group, it will also scrape the member list for that group. So again, really, really useful. So it presents it into a CSV file. Again, you can take that and you can put it into your um, visualization tool and it, it works miracles, really. And more critically forwards. So again, you know, um, what we're seeing, especially with regards to um, the Ukraine-Russia war at the moment um, and what we're seeing on Telegram is a large number of groups that are involved in the dissemination of disinformation. And what you generally find is that a lot of the um, posts containing disinformation are being circulated across several, several groups and channels. So again, using the forwards um, module, what you're able to do is you're able to identify where messages have come from. So again, it, it allows for better discovery. So you may be able to discover additional sources of this information and then use telepathy once again to scrape the forward lists from that group or the member lists and also extract the messages. So it's, it's a fantastic capability, I must admit. Now, media. Telepathy in version two, you can scrape the media content. Now, I know that you can do it natively within the Telegram desktop application, but personally, I certainly feel that using telepathy to scrape the media is a lot more better, essentially. And, and if you need to integrate that media with the exported chat data, into a third party application to be able to look at what people have shared and you know what what media has been put onto a particular channel I, I certainly believe that telepathy is is much more better um, in that regard now also as well just a um, just a point to note is that here as you can see um, is that there will be the ability to look up a specified user ID and also as well to query so um, uh, geolocation so what I mean by that is that if you have a set coordinate, so let's say, for example, an area around the Mariupol steel works in, in, in Ukraine, you can put those coordinates in and you'll be able to um, identify users within that, um, within that general area. Now, at the moment, telepathy does not have that capability, but I'm really, really looking forward to when Jordan does a... Um, the, there's an update and there is that capability because that will be absolutely fantastic as well. So at the moment, these two modules um, don't appear to be there. Um, having been looking at the, uh, the files itself, um, it, it does not appear to be there. But keep your eye on it because when it's there, I imagine that it's going to provide a really, really good um, set of capabilities, especially if the location data, if it identifies users within a radius of a specified coordinate and outputs that list of users and user IDs in a CSV file, that would be, that, that would provide, again, a hell of a lot of capability. And as you can see, Jordan is he's, he's really, really good. He's, he's telling us what he's um, what he's currently working on um, on upcoming features. Again, I these are all features which I'm in in my opinion is gold dust to us as OSINTERS. Um, so again, keeping a really, really close eye on telepathy already right now. The tool is absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is. We're going to get telepathy up and up and running, and we'll show a couple of the features right now. So, in my man shell, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change my directory to where I'm keeping all of my scripts. Okay, then. So now we're in telepathy right now so what i'm going to do is let's just start um, running a tool so again um there's quite a lot of um channels being used to spread this information so let's just go ahead and look at the forwards or scrape the forwards from one of those channels so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to 
initiate the tool, specify my targets. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just do a, a very simple, um, basic um, um, search right now. So we'll, we'll do a, um, we'll specify the targets as uh, the, the founder of Telegram right here. And this, this, um, this will essentially provide us with an overview of that target and what data that or what information there is behind that target. So again, pressing enter on that, you can see that telepathy is um, fetching details for that specific username. And as you can see, this is this is the output that you see right here, and and I and I like the way that this is structured. It's it's very neat. It's you know less is more, and and this is exactly what I expect from um, a, a tool like this. It's providing me with the details. You know, it's telling me the first post date and the URL, the 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 chat type, whether it's a group or a channel. I mean, it's th this is what I expect, and this is what I love about this tool. So, if we want to take this even even further, what we're able to do is um, we can look at some forwards. So, again, let's go into Telegram right now. As you can see here, this is my. Um, this is my Telegram desktop app, and I've got quite a few um, groups on here. So let's take this. Um, yep, okay, this is um, a classic um, disinformation-focused um, uh, channel. In this case, it's not a group; it's a channel. So okay, let's um, let's go ahead and um, let's look at the forwards. So let's scrape where messages have been forwarded from essentially so what i'm going to do is once again put in the target details in this case it is that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to specify the um, telepathy to scrape the forwards by inputting this right here dash f and now I'm just going to run it. And as you see, it's fetching the details and it's providing it to us, as you can see right there. And as you can also see, it's um, fetching the forwarded messages. So as you can see, it's telling us that there have been 71 messages forwarded from other Telegram channels or groups, essentially. So what it's now going to do is, uh, while this tool is running, it is printing the output to a CSV file, and it is storing it in the root of the uh, the tool's directory. So how that looks is, so here I have my uh, D drive, sorry, and telepathy telepathy files and there you could see a folder for each of the uh, for each of the channels or the groups that I've just been um, scraping from and here is our most recent one that we've done right here double click on that and if it's a group it will provide a member list but because this is a channel there is no member list but here we have the edge list and this is telling us the uh, the different telegram channels where messages have been forwarded from into our targets right here so how that looks so let's go to excel and we'll take a look at that exported data right now go to blank workbook Let's take a closer look. And what I need to do is I need to navigate right here to telepathy, like so. Telepathy files, edge lists, and there we go. And again, what I like is um, Jordan has quite clearly understood that, um, again, to avoid issues with regards to data, when it comes to um, delimiting um, CSV files, he's, he's gone for the semicolon option, which is, again, fantastic. Um, again, rather than a comma, which on a lot of other um, Python-based utilities, which are you know being used the Telegram scrapers. The developers have used commas as the uh, as the delimiter, and this is, that's not ideal. But the semicolon, yep, absolutely agreed with that. So we can just load that on right now, and we can take a look at our at the data that we've just scrape like so and as you can see it's providing us with a two username which is the target channel that we have just scraped from 
and the name of that channel right here the where it has come from so essentially the channel name from where the message has been forwarded from and again here we get the uh, the actual username the telegram username of that channel right there and it's also providing us with a time date stamp for each of those forwards as well which is absolutely great so if we want to specify if we want to look at forwards um, or analyze forwards which have occurred within a particular time frame then there are plenty of utilities that we can use to be able to um, to do that so as you can see th this is um, an example of the output from the the forwards module so going back here now to um to our to um telepathy right now so a large number of options we can scrape the uh, we can scrape the chats we can scrape the media Again, very, very straightforward to do each of those. If you want to scrape the chats, you just go for a comprehensive scan, which will also extract the, uh, the, the group lists within a particular Telegram group. Um, it'll extract all of the messages as well, the interactions that have been taking place. And if you choose to do so, um, you want to scrape the media, then by all means, you know, you can go ahead and do that. It's very, very straightforward. It is a... Um, it's a fantastic tool very straightforward there's there's nothing complicated about it whatsoever so what i've done is as you can see from this folder right here i have been scraping from quite a large number of um, a large number of groups so i've extracted quite a bit of chat data and also as well a lot of um, forward lists as well and also as well some member lists from various groups now in terms of what can you do with those csv files yes you, you have gephi you have the option to put process those files into gephi um, which is of course free and you're able to visualize that data in, in, in a link chart format. And, and it is fantastic. I mean, Gephi is, is a great tool. Um, but certainly in my case, I, I choose to use Yoz by Paloscope um, because I certainly feel that I've got more control over. So let's say, for example, if I have data, so forward lists, member lists and chats, then essentially I can visualize all of them together in one str single place rather than with Gephi, for example it, it is quite complicated to be able to link forward edge lists to group member lists and so on and so forth so personally i use paloscope yo's and again very straightforward because i what i can do is i can quite simply drag and drop my data into into yo's now because I've also been um, scraping from various different groups, so I've been scraping uh, the um, the interactions. So, what if I am interested in one particular um, Telegram username, and I want to isolate all of the interactions from that Telegram user? Um, and it may be across several groups. Well, in Yoz, I can do that. So I've taken telepathy's output, in this case, a, a whole list of interactions um, involving a lot of users, and I can look at those interactions right here. So if I am interested in interactions which have taken place within a certain time frame, then I can do that right here using this time bar, as you can see. And it's only going to show me interactions that have taken place within that um, particular time frame. Or, as you can see here, if I am interested in a specific Telegram user, so if I've identified um, a Telegram user ID that is consistently spreading a large amount of this information across a, a, a huge range of different Telegram groups, I can take a look at that Telegram user right here and I can get a better understanding of what interactions or what messages have been posted by that user. So I'm going to open them up and group them by time like so. Now again, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of data here. But again, if we're looking at uh, Russian disinformation, 
we do have a problem. Unless you're a Russian native speaker, then we have a problem. But again, the reason why I've chosen Yo's in this case is because I can use offline translation. And very straightforward, I'm going to select a, a bulk number of messages and I'm going to apply offline translation right now. And I'm going to simply translate those, those messages from Russian into English, as you can see right there. So, again, fantastic. So that is the, the chat analytics module that comes with Yoz. And I've taken the output from telepathy. I've literally drag and dropped it into Yoz. And now I'm translating the content of the messages offline. And it's important to do it offline. And this is essentially my result. And what I'm able to do as well is that I'm able to... Um, to draw a link chart based on interactions between various different users. So if I go down here to persons, as you can see, we're getting Telegram users, Telegram groups. What I'm able to do is I'm able to draw or visualize a link chart based on that data. Very, very powerful capability indeed. But remember as well, what we did with telepathy was that we scraped forwards from several telegram channels that were being used to spread this information. So what if we want to get a visual representation of that? Well, again, we can do that right now. So I'm going here into Yoast. And as you see, these are the telegram groups that I've been essentially scraping from. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of these groups to a link chart. And what I want to see is I, I want to look at where essentially a lot of these messages are coming from. So I've just created a new link chart right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a, a couple more. So I'm going to select this one. And I'm also going to select this one. I'm going to add them to the uh, to the same link graph right here and there we go so now at this point what i want to do is i want to expand on the data that i've collected taking the csvs from telepathy that i've drag and dropped into yo's and now i want to visualize the results so here we're getting quite a lot of date times and here we're seeing the telegram groups and these are the telegram groups or channels in this case where the um, where messages have been forwarded from. So I'm going to check all of those. As you can see, Yoz is applying some clustering. So again, it makes it quite tidy for you. It doesn't spam your entire screen with different nodes, for example. So again, by applying clustering, it keeps it really, really nice and tidy. And we do the same over here as well. And as you can see, we're getting some... Um, some patterns right here, some different groups that um, maybe we haven't heard from, heard of or heard from, who knows? And what we're able to do is we can take these Telegram usernames now and we can scrape from them again. But um, let's see if we can expand on um, a few more. So again, we're getting quite a lot of um, a lot of groups and surf noise. This is another Telegram group that is quite active in terms of spreading disinformation. Checking all those items, and there you're seeing we're getting quite a nice pattern indeed. So we are certainly looking at where a lot of these um, where a lot of these posts these. Uh, sort of messages containing Russian disinformation, where they are coming from. And again, we can use telepathy to go even deeper into each of these different channels, scrape the forwards from them. And again, we can go as deep as we want to, and we can visualize it using an application such as uh, such as Yoz. Um, if, you, if you're not using Yoz, then by all means, you can use Gephi. But the reason, as you can see right here, why I prefer to use Yoz in this case is because of the clustering. It keeps it really nice and tidy. So again, there is that, um, that expression, less is more, and, and this is certainly the case. And certainly this is, um, it makes it a lot more workable for me. But also as well, um, in terms of using Yoz to 
process data that I've scraped from Telegram, the chat analytics is, is a fantastic capability. It really, really is. So again, if you are scraping chats from multiple Telegram groups, you drag and drop them, throw them into Yo's, and what you're able to do um, at that point is, is that if you have a specific user ID and you want to look at all of the interactions concerning that user ID, you can isolate using Yo's and you can look at all of the messages that, that user ID has posted over several groups if you have the data to support that and then if it's in russian as i previously showed you we can use offline translation and we have a um, translation right there for us so that was telepathy so what we did was that we used telepathy to scrape from a large number of, um, or in, in the case of this demo, some Telegram groups that have been spreading uh, pro-Russian, pro-invasion disinformation, taking that data, which is in CSV format, put it into Yo's, looking at the interactions and also looking at a visual representation of the forwards. So the focus is on telepathy in this case because... I've, I think I've, I've said it enough. It is a fantastic tool. Jordan has done a fantastic job with it. It is. It's very clean. Is the the data is very well structured. It, it can be used. It can be used straight away. Installation is no problem whatsoever. It's fantastic. And what I'm looking forward to is the upcoming features that Jordan has uh, has mentioned as well. I think that there is a lot to look forward to with regards to this tool. Um, and I'm certainly looking forward to testing it out again uh, to the extent where I'll probably be doing this video um, once again very soon once there are additional features and modules added onto telepathy. And we can look at what it can do um, um, concerning those as well. So... Um, that is it from me. Um, I want to thank you again for watching this video. If you liked it, by all means, don't forget to like and subscribe to OS2Int. We're going to be more consistent with the OSINT tool reviews. There has been a lot of things going on. There is big news on the way in terms of the future direction of the, uh, of the company. What you need to know is it does not affect you. And we're going to be, we're going to keep doing these OSINT tool reviews and these videos a lot more regularly. So thank you once again and speak to you all very, very soon. Bye for now.